Hey everybody, this is Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a quick look at IOBit Malware Fighter Free. IOBit Malware Fighter will protect your system from all sorts of malware. It kind of encompasses everything now. Malware is a great word to use for viruses, trojans, rootkits, a little bit of everything and whatever else they happen to invent down the road. Uh, the IOBit Malware Fighter Free tool continues IOBit's system of attractive simple to use programs that give you plenty of features for free and for a fair price some additional features in this case there's a few features that are going to run you about 20 bucks but for the most part this thing's run great for us it runs alongside AVG it runs alongside Microsoft Security Essentials so you can actually run both of them together and they work together I haven't had any issues with that so far you're looking at the front interface when you come into it again this is all the default settings because everything just works out of the box just fine it will check for updates when you start it up and it'll sit here and let you take a look at the object scanned objects blocks in uh, real time as well as statistics uh, you can see here I need to scan because I haven't done a complete system scan yet so it'll warn you. Uh, down at the bottom here I figure I'd just mention this real quick. They have their latest news down here obviously IOBit would like you to try their other utilities, advanced system care, game booster, uh, toolbox, etc. You can hide it but I have to give them credit for not being annoying and leaving it in a nice little small area down here. It doesn't bother you so I just leave it be. Uh, you can always update right here up towards the middle by simply clicking there. It'll start your updater. It'll double check for any versions and download them if needed and as you can see it'll close itself when it's done as for scanning they pretty much everything you've seen on most malware programs you have your smart scan which is basically a quick scan your full scan and your custom scan if you want to just check certain folders or files it's pretty simple under your protections you can see you're getting quite a bit with this program for free where a lot of programs will tend to do the scanning for you but any kind of blocking will actually cost you money. Uh, the startup guard, the browser guard, line your mouse over, it tells you what it does. Your network guard, file guard, cookie guard. Process guard would be nice. I can understand why they're charging for that though. Uh, you get a lot of malware problems into your processes. Uh, sometimes some malware will create additional processes, spoof processes. Uh, your USB disk guard, which would be great if you're using USB thumb drives. A lot of us keep those around for backup. And your malicious action guard. Uh, if you click any of those at any point, it'll pop a little window up, give you all the benefits you're going to get, give you a chance to upgrade it online, to enter your key. And I believe it's 1995 right now, which is always a fair price. As for the cloud, as we're also used to hearing now, the almighty cloud is the IOBit cloud community statistics, keeping track of files that were uploaded that were safe, files that were a threat. And if you've used VirusTotal before, VirusTotal.com, you can upload files to this website, usually single files, and they will scan the file for you and let you know based on probably 35 antivirus programs whether it's clean or not. Well, IOBit's got this baby built right in so just click your upload file to cloud browse around for the file and you can upload it and scan the file uh, your upgrade buttons here at all times hoping that you'll kick in 20 bucks and finally we always like to take a look at some of the settings which is here under the more settings minimize when close execute with Windows startup these are things you want to leave alone I, I think IOBit's got this down pat pretty good there's very little here if anything you want to change unless something doesn't apply to you that applies to most people your scan settings you could skip files larger than 10 megabytes and the reason for doing that might be uh, large game files video files that you know are clean it takes longer to scan these large files can slow down the whole process that's an option normal priority which you can slide to high low priority quarantine your threats your auto scan now this would be nice to have again for 1995 you can purchase the program but I would like to see that I think most people have these programs really like to scan once a week leave it let it set in the background set a schedule do it when it's idle which is right here of course and that way you know your system can just run and check for you once in a while I'll give you a complete scan make you feel good keep track of your quarantines keep track of your ignore lists uh, your updates typically this works fine just the way it is check when it updates when the program starts and if you have problems with with your proxies or any kind of problems updating you can manually change your settings in here and your balloon tips which are kinda of handy to get started with 
you can leave them all on, but when you get used to the program later, if they're annoying, you can come back in and change your general tips. The user interface is pretty basic. You can change your language and your transparency, which I kind of dig, uh, if it's a little bold for you. No big deal. You can always come back to your recommended settings. You can always come in here and get a little bit of help, which will open the web browser for you. I should mention, too, now that I mentioned the web browser, under the cloud, if you click in this area anywhere it'll also open your web browser for statistics for you and that's about it nice little program to run right alongside your antivirus for just that little bit of extra security uh, the, the downloads free the link is uh, in our description above well, well actually below the video you know either way we'll see you next time thanks